First hoist at the masthead. Beautiful. Just beautiful. First day and what an absolutely fantastic day. Learned a lot, uh, did a lot wrong. Um, what, uh, the main thing I did wrong was not seal up the uh, the keel box properly. I put um, a whole tube of sil silicon in there uh, around the edges of the, the flange of the keel box, but uh, that's not enough. Uh, we had a lot of water in the boat, so now everything's wet and that sucks, but um, apart from that, I mean, that's it's not bad if it's the only downside for a day of sailing, but the boat, just incredible. Um, so it's hard to describe the feeling of solo sailing on a tentacle boat and going fast. It's a uh, it's incredible. I think I so today uh, about 35 miles, uh, eight spinnaker hoists. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of work. The hardest part is packing the kites 
in between because I was doing quite short upwind and downwind. It's packing the kites in time. It was, uh, it was, it was tricky, but heck of a lot of fun. And how's this for a, uh, a view to have a beer too after sailing? Alright, that's it for me today. Another day tomorrow. And the day after. <laughs> Alright, it's the, my second day of sailing the boat. And we're going to go straight to the deep end. We're going to join a, um, a little offshore race here. It's only short, maybe 40 miles. Uh, it is double handed, but uh, I've got two, two hands. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be great. It's, uh, it's not for about three hours. I've got time to make, make a coffee. Make sure the boat's properly set up and uh, slowly meander my way out there. But uh, I'm really excited, it's going to be great fun. Still not much breeze, but that's alright. Don't need to go out through that gap there, out offshore for a little while. But in the meantime, get along. I have a couple. Alright, we're out here at the start line. Have uh, still got 23 minutes into my start. It's a uh, Handicap start, it's a pursuit race, so the slower boats go first and then the faster ones. So uh, the first boat's starting now, and uh, yeah, the breeze is built to a solid 15, it's just down at 12 now. But I've rigged up the first reef, I don't think I'll use it, certainly not at the start. I want to see how the boat goes when it's a bit overpowered, what it feels like, uh, but then if it's if it's consistently overpowered, I'll probably put that reef in. Uh, course looks good, it's quite a long upwind first of all. And it's reasonably lumpy and it's shortly going to, the tide will turn. And we're going to have wind against tide, so it's going to get even rougher. But, uh... Alright, here we are, leg one of the race. Uh, my electric's tripped out about... One minute before the start. <laughs> uh, so I had a bit on at the start, so I couldn't film it. But uh, everything's under control now. Uh, as you can see, reasonable sea state. But the boat's behaving beautifully. So, um, no complaints. And we'll press on. So the sea state's really picked up with the turn of the tide. Quite lumpy, but uh, both going well. We've overtaken one boat. Um, nearly at the first rounding mark. It's not going to be a, a, a head sail on this next one. I think it's just going to be crack sheets. Uh, but hopefully a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so we're at the first rounding mark and dropped back one boat because I had a bad tack. But that's all right, I feel like I'll catch him pretty quickly. Uh, so here's the mark. Pretty big chunk of rock, and I don't really like being this close to chunks of rock like that, but anyway. What an amazing day, all finished. Almost back home. I didn't have any opportunity to uh, film during the racing. Very short legs, and uh, quite frankly, I was flat out just keeping the boat uh, going in the direction I wanted to. So, um, geez, it was great fun. But yes, short short legs are a lot of work. I am buggered. So, uh, yeah, pretty good day. a bit windy to wait the boat today but uh, not too windy to go for sail. So 
it's great. I haven't canted the keel yet, uh, just because I've been a bit lazy. So we just got set up, just put the reef in, and now I'm resting. I think I'm going to have to cancel it in, in a second. So we didn't quite end up at Shelter Cove, uh, which is basically 20 miles upwind of here. I went about 12 miles upwind, and it was obvious I wasn't going to get to the appointment in time. So decided to just send it downwind and uh, put the shoot up. And within a second, broke the prodder. So, so that sucked. Uh, so then I tried it again with the Genoa, no product, just really tensioned the bowsprit up and it kind of worked but it, it let go as well. It didn't break but it just, it just falls away to the lure. If any of you guys know what I'm doing wrong, please tell me. Um, but yeah, so it sucks, it was a long downwind but just too so reaching basically square. But, uh, Still a beautiful day out. Bloody tired now though. Just gonna relax and uh, chill out.